All right, so this is just a little demo of the Nexus 7 I have installed on my E46 M3. Um, the tablet, though you can't see it very well, let me fix that, um, is in its own little bezel um, that I bought from, I think it's mybeamer.net. Um, really good bezel, um, works perfectly, looks stock, so no complaints there. Um, now let me turn the key to position one and the tablet fires right up. Um, we are currently in radio mode. If I could just get this to focus. There we go. Um, we're in radio mode right now, so uh, on my steering wheel, turn the lights back on. We've got radio, um, but really, who listens to the radio? Let's switch this to tablet. All right, and hit play. And now the song from the tablet is going. Um, I want to change the song though, so let's see if I can get the tablet. No, not really. Um, we're gonna go track up, and that changes the song. Easy. Um, I've also repurposed this little talking icon as a play pause um, because. Shit, I don't have the Bluetooth interface, so there's no point in uh, not using the button. Um, back to the interface, uh, I have the nav computer in the vehicle still, so I'm able to uh, get a street information, altitude, and GPS coordinates, although blurry, um, from the vehicle computer over the iBus. Um, by the way, this is all running off of the BMW iBus interface uh, that I have back here, which I'll show you momentarily. Um, I still have to build in navigation, uh, Google Maps into this app, as well as a way to change settings on the car itself. Um, that's not really a, a big priority at this point. I'm just kind of in a beta phase. Um, here I'm going to just show you that I can switch the units on the vehicle and they switch on the tablet so that's pretty cool switch back to Fahrenheit um, now because this isn't mounted permanently let me just pull out the tablet and right here these lights you see it's a little breadboard with a spark fun yo-yo uh, is a basically an open accessory, a uh, Google open accessory um, interface. Uh, just lets me speak serial, uh, which is what the car speaks after uh, the MCP2004, which is a little chip back there that you see by the white wire, uh, transceives all of the data from the vehicle. Um, these wires right here from the breadboard go to the blue connector which contains uh, IBUS, ground, and 12 volts. Um, the way I get the tablet audio to the car is actually over the OEM, which you can see right here, it's just the OEM aux cable. Um, that, which is right here actually, this is where it terminates into the wiring harness, uh, actually goes into the radio surprisingly enough, and not the board monitor that used to be here, so the radio still recognizes that there's an aux input, and therefore I can still use it. Um, I do plan on potentially adding a preamp as well as um, a little uh, 3.5mm headphone plug onto the breadboard. Uh, and wiring it all up nice and pretty so that I can emulate uh, the CD player and just pump the tablet audio through this blue harness because it's got um, right and left negative and positive audio in on this harness. So if I emulate the CD player, theoretically I should be able to get the tablet to send audio to the radio over that CD player interface and then I can still have the auxiliary interface for whatever else I want. Um, so, you know, like I said, just a brief overview of my project. Hope you like it.